Jeff. Uh, Corey, you were you're a Gold Glove finalist. What does that mean to you, and who has helped you along the way this season defensively? This season, or just in general? Whatever. Um, yeah, obviously, really exciting. You know, um, I guess anytime you can be considered for any of the awards, it's an accomplishment. So, super happy about it. Um, Trying not to focus too much time on it, obviously, because we're in the playoffs. But um, yeah, you know, really special honor for sure, and it'll be something to think about later. On the topic of defense, what have you seen, or how have you seen Nathaniel Lowe take a pretty big leap in defense from last year to this year? Yeah, um, attention to detail is good word for it. Um, He's out a lot early in spring, working on it. You know, just. Footwork, angles, positioning, um, it all comes into play. You know, first base is a lot harder than people think. Um, it's really awkward running away from the ball. So for him to be able to know that he's going to have to cover more ground and know the lanes that he's going to have to run to first base from, it was a big change for him without the shift. So to see him take a lot of pride and put a lot of effort into it was, was big. Hey, Corey, uh, congratulations on Thank you. being here at ALCS. Um, two part questions. Are you surprised or your teammates were surprised to be in this position to be 2 0 over the Astros, taking two, two at home from them? And second, is there any line or improvement from you guys that you've seen from these first two games that you need to improve in order to be even more difficult to beat? Um, surprise? No. You know, we understand that we're a good team. You know, we, we've tried to go out and compete all year. Um, and it's just about winning series now. So we're trying to go out and win two more games. And the improvement? Um, just keep playing good baseball. Um, I think we've done that pretty much all postseason. So just trying not to do too much and just continue to play well. Corey, Max's time here has been, hasn't been you know, terribly long, but his reputation and, uh, you know, around the game and what he's able to do, especially in the postseason, is, is obvious. You guys are still human when you have a guy like Max Scherzer with the pedigree that he does going to the mound, especially kind of in this way, coming back off the injured list long before he should. What does that do for you guys just you know, maybe internally? Yeah, you know, it gives us a big boost. You know, we get one of our, our guys back, you know. That's a, that's a huge thing for us, um, and especially a guy of his caliber um, and what he's capable of doing in a situation that we're in. You know, we, we hope he can go out there and throw the baseball really well and come out with another win. So, similar question to Jeff, but I'm, I am curious about this year specifically. It seems like there's been a pretty marked improvement on your defense from last year to this year. Was there anything specific that you worked on or somebody that you worked with to to make this improvement? Um, not so much worked on. I mean, I, I, you're trying to improve always, you know. Um, I think a little bit of the positioning's help. You're not as far to the right, so the angle is probably just a little better. Um, it's a little more neutral. but. The biggest help I've had in my career has probably been Chris Woodward in LA. Um, just helped me shorten strides up. You know, I'm a long guy. Um, was just taking too big of strides and kind of getting caught in between on some balls that I shouldn't be. So that's always been a big battle for me is to continue to stay basically grounded against the river. Sorry to follow up, but have you kept in touch with him at all this year? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <coughs> hey, Corey, on the note of defense, um, Everybody in the NPL finalists for Gold Gloves, and congratulations on that, by the way. But what have you seen from Josh, and what are your feelings of him not getting uh, that recognition at third base? Yeah, you know, honestly, for, for me personally, I think he's a little snubbed. Um, I'm sure he isn't going to come out and say that, but he should feel that way. You know, for what he's been able to do over there, I mean, the guy's a, a vacuum. Anything that's hit to him, he catches. Um, for my opinion, that's a Gold Glove finalist, right? So, um, just how well he can play and just his ability to catch the baseball is off the charts. Questions for Corey? Coming back with Nathaniel at first base, when you have he has the ability to pick the ball, everything happens so fast. But do you, does that play into your mind as you're building it, like? He has the ability to pick it. Does that make it easier to play your position? Yeah, for sure. Anytime your first baseman can help you out, it's huge. You know, you can extend and try and do more things because you have confidence in that guy over there. And that's all you want. And Nate gives that for our whole infield. 
Corey, what is it in particular that you like about the hitter's background here in this ballpark? Um, I think it's just a space thing. It's it's really big, it's spacious. Um, it just doesn't feel like everybody's on top of you. Questions for Corey? Steven? Corey, when you look at some of the guys in this lineup that were homegrown guys, Evan, Leody, and Josh, what do you see the talents in those guys, and how have you seen them develop in the time you've been here? Um, you know, that's a credit to the organization. Um, a, being able to find the talent, and then B, being able to develop it. Um, you need that. You know, you, you can't go out and get everybody off the free agent market. It's just not capable, right? So you got to be able to find those guys, develop them, and have them succeed and help us at the big league level and I think they've done an excellent job in that you know just the maturity of the actual player to be able to handle it all and then the ability for the, the organization to be able to turn them into a good player. Questions? Hazel? As a former shortstop I'm wondering whether Marcus Simeon had had conversations with you about um, playing shortstop and, and playing good defense at that position. Yeah you know you're always trying to pick people's brains. Um, just in general on how they do things or how they perceive things and thought processes and just everything in general, you know, I, I think that's just across the infield, you know, I've asked Jung about things who is a completely different angle, right? Like he's got to attack balls more than actually playing the baseball. So it's just a, a learning curve for everybody and you're just always trying to improve. Questions? All right, Corey, thank you so much. Congrats.